Hi there, welcome back. Previously in DaVinci Resolve 17, we created a monocolor LED panel to scroll a text message. Today we will add multicolor support to this LED panel and display an image logo together with the text. Open the LED composition in the Fusion page. Since we will be adding more nodes to the editor, Let's first organize the node tree for easy reading. Select all shape nodes for the LED off panel, press Ctrl G to create a group, and press F2 to rename the group as LED panel off. Select the shape nodes of the LED on panel, group and rename to LED panel on. In the last video, the glow node was used for the color yellow. Rename it to Glow Yellow. Press Ctrl C to make a copy. While it is still selected, press Ctrl V four times to insert four more nodes into the pipeline. Select all the newly inserted nodes. Press F2, rename them respectively to Glow Red, Glow Blue, Glow Green, Glow Orange. If we just want to switch the panel color, we can simply disable other nodes and keep only one node with the desired color. For example, if we want to have a green panel, we can select all the glow nodes and in the inspector, disable all the nodes except the green one. To get a green color, adjust the color scales. Set both red and blue to zero. Bump up the green to the maximum too. Repeat the steps for other nodes and adjust the color scales accordingly. For orange, set red to 2, green to 0 0.5, and blue to 0. For blue, set red to 0, blue to 2, and green to 0 0.5. For red, set red to 2, green to 0, and blue to 0. Now the panel has multiple colors that we can choose from, but it's still a monocolor type as we can use only one color at a time. To make the panel display multiple colors at the same time, we can divide the panel into areas for different colors using mask tools. Select the colors we want to present on the panel, for example, red, green and blue. Go to the inspector, enable all three of them. Make sure to disable the other color nodes. Add three rectangle nodes from the toolbar into the node editor. Select all three nodes and press F2 to rename them to Mask Red, Mask Blue, and Mask Green. Connect them to the respective color nodes as the effect mask inputs. Go to the viewer, adjust the size and position of the masks so that the panel is divided into three areas with different colors. That's it, we now have a static multicolor LED panel. For a dynamic multicolor moving LED panel, it will require a bit more effort. Select all the mask nodes and press delete as they are no longer required. For this demonstration, we will just display the word LED in yellow and panel in green. Select the text node Go to the Layout tab in the Inspector. Double-click the center parameter to reset the center values and remove the keyframes. Press Ctrl-C to make a copy of the text. Press Ctrl-V twice to paste while the first text node is still selected. This will automatically merge the new nodes together, which saves some time. Select all text nodes, rename them to LED, Panel, and Heart. Go to the inspector, modify the text, so that one node has the word LED, and the other has the word panel. For the text heart node, change the text to the heart symbol in font Sego UI symbol. Resize the symbol if needed. Drag the last merge node of the text nodes into the viewer, rearrange the text position so they look like in one sentence. Select all three text nodes, 
Press Ctrl C to make a copy. Click an empty spot in the editor to clear the selection, and press Ctrl Shift V to paste instances. Connect LED instance to yellow glow nodes effect mask input. The heart to red, and panel to the green node. Enable the yellow node, and disable the blue node. Great, the words are now showing different colors as expected. To animate the text, we add a transform node after the merge node, so that we can keyframe the position for the merged result altogether. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip, and go to the inspector. Mark a keyframe for the center parameter, move the text to the right until it's out of the screen. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Change the center X value until the text is off screen from the left. But the result doesn't look right. That's because the text masks for the color nodes are not moving together with the transform node. To address this issue, we insert a transform instance between the text nodes and color nodes. All right, we now have the text scrolling along with the colors. To add a moving dashed border to the panel, drag another text plus node to the editor. Merge with the output of the transform node. Select the text node and go to the inspector. Enter a series of dashes as the text. Change the size as required and increase tracking to about 2. Switch to the Transform tab, change the size X to 5. Open the Layout tab, change the layout type to Path. We don't need shape animation, right-click and remove the text one path. In the viewer, right-click to open the pop-up menu, choose text one, path. Create, rectangle. Uncheck the CW orientation option to have a clockwise path. Click OK to confirm. In the viewer, drag to select all control points. Click the shape box in the toolbar. Use the controls in the middle of each side to adjust the shape so that it matches the LED panel. Add more dashes or remove extra dashes from the text if needed. Rename the text node to a dashed line. The dashes are now lit up with neutral color without the glowing effect. Copy the dash text node and paste the instance into the editor. Connect the instance to the blue node. Enable the glow blue node in the inspector. The dash line is now displayed in light blue. Select the dashed line node and go to the layout tab in the inspector. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip and mark a keyframe for the position on path parameter. Set the value to 0.5. Go to the end of the clip, change position to 0.8. Play the clip, we now have a dashed border animated moving along the edge. To display an image logo together with the text, add a background to the editor, set to transparent. From the media pool, drag the logo to the editor. Rename the node to logo source. Merge the logo to the background as foreground input. Rename the new merge node to logo. Merge the logo node with the text LED node. Select the logo node. In the viewer, resize the logo and reposition the logo to the right of the word panel. Branch out the logo's output and connect to the orange glow node's effect mask input. Hold the Alt key and click on the pipeline to add a pipe router so that we can rearrange the pipelines. Copy the transform node. Select the pipe router Press Ctrl Shift V to insert a transform instance after. Enable the orange node. OK, the logo is now displayed in orange and moving together with the text title. 
Similarly, we can also divide the image logo into areas with different colors using mask tools. For example, my logo is separated into two parts using the mask paint node, one part is orange, and the other one is red. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.